Hey everyone! Today I'm going to film my haul for the month of September. Um, I went a little bit over. Um, I'm making my current budget $100, but I did go over. Again, I'm trying so hard not to spend money, and I end up finding things I think are super cute. Um, even though I don't really need fall clothes. Um, I did buy some fall-related items, but I uh, really don't need any clothes, to be honest. But... I'm going to show you what I bought this month. Okay, first, I guess I'll start with the shoes because they're right here. I got these sandals, and I didn't really need them, but I had a $10 off a $10 purchase of JCPenney's. So these ended up costing, the cost of these ended up being only $4. So it was the only thing I liked in the whole store, so I figured I'd get them. They're an 8.5 by the brand Arizona, and they're a faux suede, and they have little fringe detailing on them. They're very cute. I just don't need a pair of sandals, but I mean, I guess you can always use a pair of sandals, especially when you live in Florida. And I've been looking for like a nude or a tan or brown um, or cognac uh, heel for when I go out to dinner because I only had black and I had a nude pair, but they're a little fancy. So I decided to pick up this pair. And these were from eBay. And I got them for 12 bucks. And I think she said they were brand new. Let me see. Yeah, they're brand new. And they're faux leather, but they look really nice. They're by the brand Report. This is a fairly high heel, so it's a dinner shoe, definitely. But they fit really well. And they're actually fairly comfortable for the heel being that high. And they're a tan faux leather. And I got these in, I think, an eight and a half. Yeah, an eight and a half. So those are twelve dollars. Pair of booties, and together they both equaled thirty dollars, and that was with shipping because the shipping was fairly expensive. Um, the shoes were really cheap. I have them both in one bin because I'm running out of space, but I got these already warm. They're fairly comfortable. They did hurt after a little while, so I may need like an insert or something. These are, and they're a size 9. I think they're both size 9. I'm going to say they're both size 9. But these are by the brand Pink and Pepper. Um, and these were used, but like the heel's not that bad. You guys can see, hopefully. Um, they look like this. This is the inside with the zipper. And then it has a little bit of a stretchy part for the ankle to make it very comfortable and has just this up, um, buckle over here. It's a fairly small heel, so it wasn't bad to wear at all. And then I got these, which I've been wanting for actually a long time, but they're a little big on the ankle, which isn't a big deal. Um, I actually have to wear a sock with this, which... Um, I'm wearing socks with both of them so my feet don't slide and they're a little more comfortable, but uh, I have to wear a thicker sock with this one. But um, they're by, they're brand new when I bought them. They were a display model. Uh, and they're by the brand Lauren Car and I wanted these. And I want a mid tone tannish brown. This is the inside with the zipper and the outside. It's a little big in the ankle, like I said, but it's not a big deal. Like it's doable, definitely. And the heel's a little bit higher. Then the other one is a lot higher, actually, it's like an inch, but I really like them. I think these are two and a half and these are three and a half, but they're very cute, um, and they're still very wearable, and they're perfect for fall. So I've so from Target, I got this yesterday. It was only four dollars and 48 cents so it's pretty good um i got in a medium this is the only style they had left unfortunately the one i really wanted was it said mermaid hair i think mermaid hair don't care or is like i'm really a mermaid or something and it was black and had a little mermaid like a shell and it was so cute and i ordered it online but they canceled my order because they were out of stock and i literally picked every size after that and they canceled my order so that was already out of stock so, I ended up getting this one. It says, let's restart summer. I don't really care what it says. I like the color. I like the cut. And it's just a swimsuit cover-up. And 
And then I got this for... Oh, that's by the brand Exhilaration, if I didn't say it. This is by Mossimo, and it's in a size small. It was $6. It's just a long tank. It was good, like, a good basic for work. And then I went to the outlet mall. Um, it's like 40 minutes from my house, but my boyfriend works by there, so we went after his work. So I got some stuff from Forever 21, but the main, it was a really outlet store. The main thing was I went to Levi's outlet, and I got these skirts, which I've been looking for denim circle skirts. If you guys have been following me, I've had a few, but they've grown out of them, or they were too short, or they shrunk. So I got this one in the dark wash and in size small. This one needs to go back in the wash, that's why it's not on. Hang on, I mean, back in my laundry. They said $19.99 on them, and said 40% off clearance. So I was like, okay, it's going to be like 12 bucks. So I go up to the register and tell me it's $6. So I went back and I grabbed the lighter wash, which was a size medium, hoping to shrink it in the wash, and I did. I shrunk it in. Which was okay because it's 18 inches, and as long as it's more than 17 inches, I'm okay with it lengthwise. So, it's still a tiny bit big in the waist because I needed it to shrink 2 inches. The light wash one, and because it was so cheap, I'm like, I have to get both. It looks weird on camera. It looks like there's a lot of uh, discoloration. It's not. It's just here. I got one thing from the thrift store this month, and these are... These were um, $2, which is a great deal. They're Gap, and they're the style Hadley. And I think these are a 6. I think these were a 6. And they're a little big, but I did shrink them in the wash a little bit. And they're like a coolly red color. Then I have some purses from H&M. One is a shirt I'm wearing, so I'm not going to do try on because I'm going to stand up for you guys. And this was $13, and I got an extra small. I mean, um, it's not snug or anything, but I probably would have gotten a small if they had it. But it's still really cute. It doesn't, it's not tight at all anywhere. It's playing on the back, and this graphics looks like this. And then I got a swimsuit from H&M, and it's burgundy. I got both pieces for $8 combined. The top I got in my bra size, which is the 34D. Um, it was TMI, I'm sorry, but that's the size I am, and that's the size I got. It's got no padding. It's just, it has an underwire. It's like my bras. It like, has an underwire, but it doesn't have, like, a lot of padding. It's, like, enough to keep you from nipping, but it doesn't have, like, push-up and padding, because I don't want that, because literally my boobs pop out of push-up bras. I can't wear push-up bras. Today, I'm very, I'm wearing one of these bras that have, like, no nothing, <laughs> because my boobs pop out of everything, and they did grow, but they do fit in this. Um, I was concerned because I can't really wear a lot of my bras anymore because my chest did grow. I have no idea what size I am anymore, but I didn't want to buy more bras. So, I hope to lose the weight because I gained about 15 pounds in the last year because, if you don't know, I was in a car accident two years ago and my hip is getting worse, so I can't really exercise as much um, and I'm not as active as I used to be. So, I've been working on my diet, but it's not really helping, so... I'm going to the doctor to see what I can do about my hip and if I need surgery. Um, I don't know if I do yet. My hip is actually crooked. Uh, I'm two inches shorter on one side because of the accident. So, and I've been wor working and walking on my legs and walking on and hurting my hip more because they canceled my insurance because um, they didn't think I needed it. Yeah. So, it's only getting worse. So if I was going to a chiropractor every week, it probably would have gotten better by now. But because they canceled my insurance, I can't afford to spend $45 a week on the chiropractor. So surgery is probably what's going to happen, which is probably more money than that. I don't know what's going on exactly. But that is why I gained weight. So please be kind, as kind as you can in when I do the try-ons and I do my lookbooks. Because it's really hard on me. And I really don't like the way my body looks right now. Um, and... I, that's why I haven't really even bought swimsuits, but I really need another one because I do live in Florida and I do like to go to the pool on the beach. And I know I'm not, like, overweight, but I did gain 15 pounds and that makes me self-conscious. My belly isn't flat anymore. Um, I have cellulite on my legs. You can see it in my shorts video. Uh, it's very, 
makes me very upset, but you know, it's what is a result from one, my metabolism slowed down because I'm 25 years old now. Um, even though I, as soon as I knew my metabolism was slowing down, I cut out all the junk food in my life. Um, I don't ever have fast food, maybe once in a while. Like I had something, I had a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A the other day because it was free because we had a coupon for a free sandwich, so I had to get that because I am on a budget. Um, but besides that, I don't eat fast food, I don't drink soda, I only drink water and green tea. Um, and by no means am I a diet expert, and by no means am I the healthiest person in the world, but I cut out a lot of bad foods and I gained weight. So, that's because I used to exercise five days a week um, before my car accident. And now I can barely get in five or ten minutes a day without feeling like complete another shit. So, excuse my language, because one, I work 40 hours a week, and by the time I get home, my body hurts so bad, and I can't stand on my feet anymore. They feel like they're burning from the inside out, and literally, I can't stand on them anymore. So, I lay in my bed, I have to um, elevate my feet in order to keep them from swelling, um, and then my knees swell up as well. So, I have to put ice on them every day. So, I did gain weight. You'll see it in the try-on, and I know people will comment, and I know I'm well aware of it, and you don't need to tell me to exercise. I'm doing the best I can possibly do. So, sorry about that rant, but I know I'm going to get comments about it. I've got comments about it before when I was 15 pounds lighter that I needed to lose weight, which I right now, I weigh 137 pounds. I weighed 120... How much did I weigh? I weighed 123. So I gained... I gained closer to, like, 12 pounds, but... My point is, I was 118 a lot of when I was exercising at my at five days a week, and then I gained, I got up to 123. I was 123 for a very long time, and then I got up to 137. Now I'm about 136.5. Um, I'm trying, but I'm five foot six, so it's not really that bad. But when people tell me when I'm 123 that I need to lose weight, I know for a fact I'm going to have some people in my videos that tell me it when I'm 137. So keep your comments to yourself because I am well aware. Anyway. This is a swimsuit I got, and I will try it on underneath the swimsuit cover-up. I will not try it on, just showing you, because I'm not comfortable with it. And I got these bottoms, and I got them in a size 8. They do run very small. I find H&M in general runs very small when it comes to their bottoms, because um, the shirts I wear normal size in, unless it's like a button-up shirt, and then I have to get a bigger size. But their pants, I get like a 6 or an 8. So I got an 8 in the bottoms. I tried a six, but it's a little too tight, so the eight feel a lot better. Okay, and then from Kohl's this month, I got this shirt. This was seven dollars and fifty cents. I got it in a medium. It's by the brand Candies. It's just this collar blouse. It's like a cotton material and it has a faux wrap front, and then it tucks in, so it looks like you tucked it in your shirt. And then it has the hem, it got a slight high-low hem, it comes out the back, and it's really a very pretty shirt. I got this sleeveless shirt from Rock Around Public in a size small, and this is was five dollars. I really like it; it's very cute. I think I used the coupon on this, and that's why it was five dollars. I don't remember, cause I think it was like fourteen or something. And it's got studs along the back right here, and it's got some on the shoulder detailing. And I wore this tucked in, I think, to a skirt in one of my outfits of the days. It looked really cute. This is the same style of shirt that I bought last year in the red and black, and I love that shirt, um, except it has a, like a button pocket, and the cut, the collar buttons down in the back, which I do really like, but this one does not have that, but I bought it in size up, because, I mean, the small does fit me from last year still, but I just wanted it to be a little looser, and I wanted it to not be too tight in the arms, so I can wear it more comfortably. Um, I think they did size down a little bit on their sizing because I still fit in the small, but when I tried the small in this one, it's a little bit snug for my liking. But I always cuff the sleeves, and I got this one in the black and white, and it's got a little bit of a reddish-pink line through it. That's by the brand. So if I didn't say that, and these were, this one was $7.50, and then I bought another one that was 9 
It's just, um, I bought it online um, and I couldn't use the extra coupon. I could use it in the store, but I couldn't use it online. So, but they didn't have this color in the store. I would have totally bought it in the store. But it's like a pinky burgundy color and it has green and it has some purples and whites. And I don't have a flannel like this. So I got this one. And this one was in the laundry. So that's why it's not a hanger. And yet it's from the brand Ultra Pink. It's a size medium. And it's a romper. And I wanted it when it was $32.99, but I passed on it. And I did try end up trying it on the small in the store and it was snug. So uh, I never tried it on the medium because of the price point. But then I was like, I ordered online because we were out of stock of it because it is clearance now. But um, it's just this romper with this like, somewhat floral tribal design. It's very, uh, reminds me of a tribal design. Uh, it's got buttons up the front and it's a little, I usually I have to unbutton, I think the top one. So it's a little tight up there in the chest area. It's got a cinched in waist and I can wear this at my waist and it's not too short. And it's got pockets and flowy shorts and the inseam isn't too bad. And this was on sale here, $14.40, and I ended up paying $9 for it, which is a pretty good deal. Okay, and then for Forever 21, I got two tank tops. These are $4 each. They're very soft, and they wash, actually, extremely well, which is nice. Um, they run small. I went up a size. I got a medium. I didn't want it too skin tight. I could have even done a large, but I don't think they had it. I got that in burgundy and olive. I got this skirt and I really like it a lot because it has pleats so it hides like the belly area. And this was $15 I believe. Yes, I got it in a size small. It's an olive skirt. And it's got these pockets right here. It's extremely flattering. It's got a zipper down the back. this shirt because it was extremely lightweight um I shouldn't keep saying extremely it's very lightweight and it was only thirteen dollars and I got it in a large large um, because this is the only size that they have but it fits me pretty well I would probably have gotten a medium if they had a medium but it has burgundy it's baseball tee I like this little V um, button area it's not a real button area but I like it it's very cute and it's like an ivory color and I wore this to work already. And then I got this from Forever 21, which is really cute. It's not usually my usual style, but I really liked it. And it's a size small. I wish they had an extra small because it's a little big. But I know that's the style of the shirt. And this was $13 because I had a 20% off coupon and it just has a purple. It's like a light mauve um, color. It's very pretty. Last thing I got is this burgundy hoodie, and it was only $10 after my coupon, so I decided to pick it up. And it's very soft, and it's nice. Um, it's a fairly thick hoodie, but it's not too thick, so it's perfect for the fall here. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any video ideas, please leave them down below uh, so I know what to film. I already filmed a makeup tutorial on this makeup look today. If you guys are interested, if it's not up already, um, it'll be up soon. And if it is up, I will link it down below. So, what else do I want to say? Also, in the video, I asked if you guys want to see a Naked Basics 2 tutorial. And I'm also going to do a tutorial for the Lorac Pro Matte. When I get that, um, I'm going to order it tomorrow. And it should come within that week. So it'll probably be up next month sometime. Uh, well, definitely next month because today's September 30th, so uh, it'll probably be up the end of October or something like that. It's gonna, I'm gonna do a really fall look with that because it has like reds and burgundies and a lot of warm tone neutrals, something I do not really have. Um, I have like pinky and I have purple, but I don't have anything red based, so I think it's gonna be a really interesting palette to play with. So That's it. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing and following me even though I only post 
once a week. I know a lot of people post a lot more than me, and I'm glad you take the time to watch my videos. And hopefully you understand it's really hard for me to post more than once a week because it, this is not my job. Uh, if I made enough money on here for to be my job, I would, I would definitely be posting three or four videos a week. But like I said, I only really get one day off a week. Um, yeah, pretty much only get one day off a week, and then I get weekends off every other weekend. And I try to spend that time with my best friend because she is a teacher and she is off every weekend. And I, I only have really two close friends, so I only get to see them on that weekend that I'm off. And I see my boyfriend like six hours a week on Monday, Wednesday night. So I will see him tonight because it's like Wednesday. So I do my best to try to make videos for you guys. It's not like I pretend that I don't have any time. I don't have any time. I'm also a painter. As you know, that's what I got my degree in. It's not my job yet. Um, so... I'm working on a painting for my brother for his birthday that passed on September 9th and I'm still working on it but it's hard when I get home from work and I can't move to do anything so hope you guys enjoyed sorry to end it on a kind of negative note but I want you guys to enjoy my videos and any suggestions anything you want me to style please let me know and I'll make sure to do that for you see you guys later